only like radicals can be added. Let's say we have square root of 2 plus square root of 8. Now you might be rejoicing. This is easy. These are unlike radicals. The base 2 and the base 8 are different. So the answer is just whatever is the given. That is wrong. In the case of square root of 8, we can still simplify that. Notice that square root of 8 can be written as square root of 4 times 2. And applying the product property of radicals, we can separate this into two radicals. And we know that the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So we can still write this as 2 square root of 2. You now have here two copies of square root of 2 and one copy of square root of 2. That is equal to three copies of square root of 2. That is now what we mean by, that is now the reason why we are learning how to simplify radicals. Because we want to know how many copies of thirds are there in case the radical is an irrational number. Because only like thirds or only like radicals can be added or subtracted. Square root of 2 and square root of 8 are obviously unlike radicals. They are not like radicals. But we are going to attempt to simplify the square root of 8 first in the hope that we can come up with like thirds. And if we can come up with like radicals, then we will add how many copies of those thirds are there. That is how we add or subtract radical expressions. For the numerator, we simply multiply these two factors. We can still apply the distributive property of multiplication over addition, but for now, this is already an acceptable answer. Now, these skills prepare us for the next lesson, which is about addition and subtraction of radical expressions. So, the main concept here is only like radicals or surge can be added or subtracted. So, let's talk about surge first. What are surge? Square root of 2 is a surge, whereas square root of 4 is not a surge. What's the difference between the two? The square root of 4 is equal to a whole number 2, and 2 is a rational number. While the square root of 2 has an approximate value of 1.414213562372, and this is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. In other words, a third is still an irrational number, whereas some radicals, when simplified, become rational numbers. So those radicals that are simplified as rational numbers, they are not thirds, but those radicals that are irrational, they are the thirds. And in addition and subtraction of radicals, we are adding the thirds.